Welcome to part three of the outfit assembly table build. And today I'll be walking you around the, the entire table, explaining the features, and just showing you um, everything about the table. So here is the left-hand side as you're standing at the table saw. And I've got six cubbies and a couple of drawers. Uh, I'm storing my power tools in these cubbies. Here you can see a router uh, that I'm storing in one of the upper cubbies. It's about 16 inches deep, the cubby is, and the router is about a mid-sized router uh, to kind of give you an idea of what kind of space is there. Uh, there's a toolbox here below. Uh, this is an average size toolbox and a bench grinder that I've added to a piece of plywood to easily slide in and out, and I'm able to clamp that to the tabletop when I get ready to use it. Now, you'll notice some chip out and some burn marks here and there, and that's totally my fault. Uh, I got in a pinch and didn't have a replacement blade, and so it's no reflection on the product. But here, the drawers, you can see there's no hardware, no slides or handles. Um, I've made three quarter inch plywood runners for the drawers so they can slide all the way out. Add a little paste wax, and it's real easy to slide in and out. Now, the drawers will not tip as you pull them out. Uh, and leave them hanging because of the way the runners are placed so you can see that the drawers do not tilt at all so that's nice um, now here on the side where the vise and the dog holes are I've got my dog holes uh, inside the leg there and all I've done is just drill three quarter inch holes just like I would uh, the dog holes on top of the table uh, and so here I'm going to give you a demonstration on hand planting a piece of wood to kind of give you an idea that this table does not rack, does not move. Uh, this thing is pretty heavy and it's solid. And so I didn't have any trouble at all um, planting this uh, piece of wood here. And also stick it in the vise and you can see that there's no movement with the table. So I'm really pleased on how that turned out. So this table is made entirely of three quarter inch pure bond plywood. Uh, I've worked with this in the past and I just really like it. Uh, it's formaldehyde free which is eco-friendly and everything's made in North America. Uh, if you'd like to know more about pure bond or learn more about their story, I'll have a link in the description to my blog article so you can follow that and learn more about them. So here you're looking at the other side of the table and this is a pencil tray that you're looking at it holds markers pencils uh, rulers small tape measures whatever you need uh, that does not really have a place on top of the table or uh, that you can grab at a glance now i've got a couple more cubbies here and a couple more drawers i'm just storing my sanding equipment uh, i've got an angle grinder over in the other cubby uh, some jig stuff here in the other drawer and we'll figure out if that's the home for these things or not in in time here at the bottom of the this side this is a like a storage unit that goes all the way across the bottom of the table where you can store wood cutoffs and that kind of thing okay so this is the downdraft uh, right above the pencil tray and in the plans i show the dust port in the center uh, but I moved it to the left a little bit to allow room for storage up under the table uh, but it's really your preference. Uh, it, I had a suggestion on uh, cutting the pegboard into pieces to be able to add in solid panels to allow for better uh, dust collection uh, suction, but temporarily I'll add a, just a piece of uh, quarter inch MDF uh, to help me. And so here is the router side of the table. And so I've got like a solid insert. I can remove it, uh, raise the router to the appropriate height, and this is Jay Bates router lift and I've incorporated it into the table because I just like the way it operates so much. So the router lift and this table go hand in hand. And so if you buy the plans for the table, you might want to consider buying the router lift to go with it. Now if you buy the plans for the table, you will receive this router fence plan for free. The dust collection is awesome. As the chips leave the bit, it enters the box on the router fence and down through the router lift itself to the dust port. And so the dust collection is really good on this setup. And I've got the dust port on the bottom 
uh, I mean the blast gate on the bottom for convenience so it's just right there at the tool and so I don't have to go reaching for a, a blast gate or anything it's just right there at the tool now I've got a lot of my accessories stored here for the router I've got the bits here below the router lift which works out well um, I've got other things like the feather board you see there uh, right now I've got it stored on the shelf I could hang it over on the side uh, of that shelving unit if I like um, but the left hand side of the router lift was designed specifically for this router fence and so I knew I wanted to store this right at the router lift and so this is an area I wanted the fence to go and I can hang my inserts here as well uh, on the back side of the pencil tray next to the router lift is a perfect place to store some um, clamps and that kind of thing uh, so that worked out real well now on the other side of the router lift was a happy accident I've got a couple of areas here and on the opposite side of the table that's like a hidden shelving unit or a hidden uh, area where you can store in this case a chisel or your snacks or whatever you like but it's a hidden area on the table so that's kind of cool now on the back side of this table I've got a an outlet for like the table saw and the router but there's an area there that you see where the dust hose is where a uh, shop vac could go or a, a air compressor or anything like that there's plenty of space there and on the bottom here we've got room for wood plywood cutoffs or other jig storage and that kind of thing so the tool tray on top of the table is where I store uh, the tools that I use at or around the outfeed table and this is a perfect place for those all right guys so thank you for watching this part three video uh, this is the last video in the three-part video series uh, part one was the design part two was the build and part three which is this video is the walk around or the feature showcasing the table um, so i really had a good time with this build this was a really big project uh, for me at least as far as a shop project goes uh, but this thing is here to last it's, it's going to stay here and it's uh, really really heavy you don't have to worry about it racking i know some of you had questions about that uh, it doesn't move when i hand plane it feels really good uh, so I, i'm just really pleased the way it turned out if you are interested in plans for this table uh, they are available over on the website at stoneandsons.net slash plans i'll link those down in the description for you and also you'll see a link here on the screen toward the end of the video uh, but if you buy the plans for the table you will also receive the router fence plan as well there'll be two different downloads one for the table one for the router fence and also for the router lift now this is a separate download it, this is a j bates design the router lift itself uh, i liked it so much i wanted to incorporate it into this new table I had it in my old table uh, but the dust collection is great the the fine adjustments really good and i just really enjoy working with it so i wanted to keep it so when i designed the table i included the router lift right into the table so everything lines up and it just goes hand in hand uh, the table and the router lift so if you're interested in that there'll be a link for that down in the description as well as uh, when you buy the plan for the table you'll find the link for the router lift so if you have any questions whatsoever please leave me a comment down below uh, i'll be glad to answer any and all questions if you've got something that you want me to cover specifically for you uh, that you really want to see up close uh, contact me through my contact page or you can leave a comment down below and i'll try to answer you through email if it's uh, something like can answer through an email if not I may uh, look into doing a separate video and throwing it up on my second channel if you're not subscribed to my second channel I'll leave a link to that down in the description below uh, where you can catch up with all the shop updates and maybe the update videos for the table and upgrades and that kind of thing small projects uh, so it's just kind of a, a side channel to kind of catch all of the uh, non build projects Thanks so much for sticking around through all three videos and keeping up with this build. I really had a good time. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.